you guys can hear it out there, but the wind is absolutely ridiculous today. Also, I look like a hot mess. Anyways, hi guys, how's it going? Um, so I didn't think this video would be coming out as soon as it is on my channel, but uh, when I had made my entry into the uh, Rob Dyke So You Want to Be a YouTuber contest, I mentioned that I deal with anxiety. Now, anxiety is a um, mental illness, uh, you can say, and yesterday in Canada it was actually Mental Illness Awareness Day. So I figured, what better time than to bring this up? So let's get started, shall we? Now in no way am I a professional on any of this. I am just kind of speaking from a personal standpoint and what has helped myself out in the past. So in today's video, I will be talking about what I have, which is generalized anxiety disorder. Um, there are different types of anxiety that you can have, but I am not going to dive into that today just because it can get to be a lengthy video. Uh, if you do want me to dive into different types, leave a comment down below and I will look into it. Um, so with generalized anxiety disorder, the definition of that is a constant feeling of anxiety or fear. Now, in that definition, they talk about anxiety and what they are meaning by that is a worry about a future event. And what they mean by fear in that uh, definition is your reaction to a current event. So the anxiety portion of it could be, say you have a meeting or a test uh, tomorrow and you sit there and you think, okay, well, what if this happens? What if that happens? Blah, 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 so on and so forth. And with the fear, it's what you are reacting to. So it is your current reaction to that event. So you go into that meeting and you just feel absolutely scared and you don't know what to do and you blank and blah, blah, blah. I say blah, blah, blah a lot. Whoops. So with anxiety, um, there are different mental and physical symptoms that you can actually get. So with the physical symptoms, you can get fatigue, irritability, um, muscle tension or aches, uh, you have trouble sleeping, um, sweating, headaches, uh, on and on and on. And some of the mental symptoms that you can get are um, not being able to let go of a worry, um, inability to relax or you're constantly feeling on edge, what else is there? You have difficulty concentrating, you go blank, or as I like to say, I space out. Um, and there are so many different things that can happen um, with the mental symptoms. Now, anxiety, uh, professionals really don't know where it comes from or what triggers it or anything like that, but they do have kind of factors that they believe to be kind of involved and that would be biological psychological and individual factors and what they mean by individual factors is uh, it could have been a childhood event or a past trauma that has affected you um, now personally with mine um, I as long as I can remember I have been an anxious person and we always like I really and truly wasn't diagnosed until I was 17 uh, I had just gotten out of high school and I couldn't figure out why I was constantly feeling like this and why I was always getting headaches and so I was diagnosed when I was 17. Um, many people go their whole lives without a diagnosis but um, we don't really know where mine came from um, so we yeah we've just kind of rolled with it. Um, I have strong social aspects that kind of trigger my anxiety that I've noticed. Um, I'll notice that if it's a super busy day at Walmart, I won't want to go in, I won't want to do it. So it takes a lot for me to do social aspects. Also with the social thing, um, I can have days where it's like really good and I want to go and I want to do all my errands and I want to go and I want to visit with people and I want to do things left, right and center. And then, like I said, I have days where I don't even want to step foot out of the house. Um, so it takes a lot of effort some days when I'm on a bad day. Um, but when I'm on a good day, you wouldn't honestly think there is anything wrong with me. 
But um, how we think and how we react uh, can affect our anxiety. And the way that we perceive things can also do that. So we can perceive things to be absolutely terrible at the worst of the worst when really they're not that bad. And that can make us an anxious person. Um, also, kind of coming from a personal standpoint, I overthink things and I do that a lot and that's actually another symptom of anxiety, I guess you could say. And uh, my brain just goes into overdrive basically. So it takes a lot some days to kind of break me of a cycle. Um, now with different kind of coping situations and everything like that, um, if you notice that you are starting to kind of go into an anxious mood, try to break it. Try to just redirect your mind, go for a walk, uh, dive into a hobby. So like I crochet and I do art and that is something that I'll do to kind of take my mind off of it. Um, yeah, just something really to take your mind off of what you're currently doing and then come back to it after and just kind of relook at it. Also, if you have a, a treatment plan, stick to that treatment plan because uh, it, it does help you. Um, <clears throat> if you have the ability to join a support group, I would suggest doing that as well. Um, there could be online forums even if you want to have just people to discuss it with. That can help you out. Just find something that works for you. Now, there are some lifestyle choices as well that can kind of help you out. And a few of these I'm kind of working on. Uh, so exercise, uh, if you do that, it is an excellent stress reducer. That is one of the things I'm working on, as well as eating healthy. Because when you eat healthy and you exercise, you just, you feel better. And I know I've done it before and I'm trying to do it again. Uh, trying to get into some relaxation techniques like meditation and yoga. And those are two of the big things for myself that I do. Uh, to kind of bring my mind down um, and that helps me out immensely. Alright, so I guess the other thing would be kind of um, my personal standpoint on things. So when I'm going into an anxiety attack, I don't really even notice until I'm my all of my symptoms have stopped and I've kind of started to go into the actual attack itself. Um, but the symptoms when I look back, I can tell where it started. And uh, the one, the place I start is I am super happy, I am super bubbly, I want to do everything on the top of my list and just work my way down. And then I'll go from there to being kind of annoyed and irritable and I'll be pissed off at everything and little things set me off. And then I'll go to a point where I don't want to talk, I don't want to do anything. I just want to sit there, I just want to be quiet, I just want to try to work through this in my brain. And then I'll go into the actual attack. And during an attack, I feel at the lowest that I have ever been. And um, it, it gets pretty bad some days uh, if I have an anxiety attack. But I do have a wonderful support system at home. Um, my husband Brian is an amazing person and he will help me work through it and he will help me try to redirect myself if he notices kind of that I'm going uh, in the direction of an anxiety attack and he will help me try to refocus my brain to come back and um, my dogs are also wonderful creatures they sit by me if I'm going through one and if they they start to even notice before my symptoms come up that it's kind of getting a little off with myself they will be kind of in the same area that I am in and they're just wonderful creatures so uh, I guess the moral of this video is please if you feel like you have anything please see a professional just because I may not be able to give you the correct advice um, like I said I'm kind of speaking from a personal standpoint uh, from what have what has worked for myself and I, I'm going to try to help you guys as much as I can through here. If you have any questions, if you want to know more or anything like that, leave a comment down below and I will try to figure that out for you and I will try to respond and uh, in the best way that I can possible. 
So take care, you guys. Um, if you want to know more, I will leave a few links down below um, and all of that jazz. So take care, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit.